we kind of got bored of playing Bulldog over and over again. Each lunchtime, it would just kind of get a little boring, and the teachers were kind of stopping us from playing it the way we wanted to. So we ended up moving on to a game that has no name. Legend tells of this game with no name. It was a game where we played football with very little rules got to do with football, other than the fact that we were kicking a ball. We were allowed to pick it up as well. <laughs> but the game was that 20 people would go out into the field, and one person would get the ball, and whoever had the ball had to try and keep it away from everybody else. But if you had the ball, you were fair game to be murdered. And again, same rules play. It didn't matter who you were. We didn't see... We didn't see genders. We didn't see sexualities. We didn't see race, faiths, beliefs. We didn't see anything. All we saw was a target in our minds and legs running 90 after them. And I got the ball a couple of times, but I would always kick it away immediately because I was terrified of everyone crushing my tiny body. But one thing led to another, and Sandra got the ball, and at this time, testosterone was fueling my body. I was a young man on the cusp of manhood. I was ready to show my worth to the world and be like, no, I'm not small and scrawny. I'm a tackle this girl. So the ball went her way. <laughs> and me trying to show my affection in the best way I know possible, which was sheer brute force, I went and tackled her. But what I didn't know was that her foot was in a hole, in a little divot in the grass. And when I tackled her, I didn't just push her over, I used her as a lever to try and turn the earth. I pushed her and her foot got caught in this divot and just kind of twisted and her ankle snapped. Now, I didn't know that this had happened at the time. All I did was stood up, dusted myself off and went, ha, got him. But Sandra didn't get back up off the ground. If anything, she was crying her eyes out and everybody else came rushing over and looking me in the eye to be like, what did you do? Of course, I was riding high on my glory that I had won the game of killing people. It was a few moments after that that it kind of clicked in my head what had actually happened. That she was way more hurt than I thought. It was, so we brought her into the classroom and our teacher at the time started looking into it and lo and behold we found out that her ankle was broken. It wasn't so bad like her ankle, like, or like her bone popped out or anything. That would have been badass. But her ankle did look kind of like a fish that was dead, ready to be eaten. So she went off to the hospital, got treated for a broken ankle. I sat in my shame all day in that classroom. This lasted about a month. But in the end, she did kind of become my girlfriend a tiny bit, and we ended up kissing, and, you know, life worked out. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, breaking her ankle was fate, and it brought us closer together.